this dynamic programming question has appeared at every single company. So given a 2D matrix, there's a robot in the top left corner and it wants to reach the cell at the bottom right corner. Now inside the matrix, there are ones and zeros. The ones represents obstacles and the zeros represents empty space. The robot can only move rightward or downward. It cannot go through obstacles. We want to find the total number of unique paths that it can take to reach the bottom right corner. Let's say we're given this example. There are three possible paths that the robot can take, so we can return three. Let's go over the thought process. At each of the cells, the robot has two choices, moving rightward or moving downward. We want to find the total number of paths from both choices. When the robot reaches the bottom right corner, we have found one valid path. There are two side cases that we need to handle. The first case is when the robot goes out of bound, the number of paths will be equal to zero. The second side case is when the robot hits an obstacle, the number of paths will also be equal to zero. Let's implement the function you need paths with obstacles, taking the input grid, return the result of the helper method. Now let's implement the helper method taking the row, column, grid, the number of rows and columns. If the current cell is out of bound or contains an obstacle, return zero. If the current cell is the bottom right corner, return one. Return the total number of paths moving downward and moving rightward.